Hiya. And today I'm at the Slate Great Plangunog lead mine. It's supposed to be a great big addict running right under this mountain. Looking for a bit of evidence of that. But look at that workings. Okay. Got workings up there, massive spoil heaps. Uh, there's a big quarry up there. Okay, we're actually in the Tenant Valley. If we sweep across the Tenant Valley now, there's some old slate workings on the other side, which are a bit lower down than the spoils on the hill. They're not spoils. Sweeping around again. On the other side, there actually is an old slate mine. Might have ones up there after. But first, things first. We're going to have a look at the great Plangenog lead mine. See what's there. So, well, I've found some top of the spoils go. around the old quarry, and I found the old winch house. Look at that. How intact is that? Brilliant. Look at that. Cable still on it. Winching up and down the hill. Looking right across. At the slate mine, which is on the other side of the mountain, the other side of a tenant valley. So we'll have a look around a little bit more. Further, further to find. and some of the old mine buildings behind me, and some more to the left of me. And then, as always, in most of these mines. They tend to become a dumping ground. What an insult. I think some people tend to forget what they've got on top of the houses sometimes. It's just really just wrong. That's part of the old mining buildings. Okay. And we carry on. Now most of these date back to the early 1800s, 1820s, 1830s sort of mark I think. So we're really in decay now. Hopefully not okay. rotten. Wandering up from the old buildings there, I was looking for the old boundary shaft and the horse winds. Now I think since the horse winds have been covered over by some more modern workings, I'm not sure about boundary shaft, but walking on the hillside, found this. Have a look. Now, I've took a few pictures up it, it's about a foot and a half deep, you know, it's got a solid bottom. I'll just zoom in on that a little bit for you. There you go, it's wired off so, there you go, won't fit too much. How's that? That'll do you. Now, you can hear water dripping up there. I'm just not sure how, how far it goes in. But the spoils that are outside are quite grown over, so... Result. Right, that's that one. Now, I just want to add that that is actually in someone's garden, on their land, and I've actually asked for permission, and they have given me permission to go and have a look at it. So I just want you to make a note of that. I've been here most of the day now, great mine, lead mine. And I think I've actually found the West End at it. So I think that's it. Beautiful. Alright, so ciao for now.